today is the day we're off to New York and I'm excited so I'm going to take you along with me. Guys if you are new here my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so if you like luxury fashion and some travel vlogs then you're probably gonna love it here so head down there subscribe turn on the bell become a member of our luxury addicted family and we're going to rehab. <laughs> Never. Guys are you ready? Let's go. She's in New York. Okay. So we are up and at them, as they say. It's also my birthday. Now, I am on the way to Essa Bagel, which last time I'm in New York, Transcendent Bagels. Whatever absolute scam they've been selling us in the UK that is a bagel is the biggest lie, like, that's up there with Fire Festival, let me tell you. Also, may we just... She's off. I love an everything bagel, which we don't really have in England either, which is also a very depressing fact, because let me tell you, the seasonings. Perfection. Mm, so good. Okay, update, since I've not been very good at uh, vlogging today. I have a hissy fit every year on my birthday, it seems, and today was no different. And I took it out on me, which I always do. Apologies, I love you. He's answering emails. Now we are going to Tacombi. Let me show you. We are going here, which I'm not gonna lie to you. I literally just Googled best Mexican food in Soho, and it came up. <laughs> So we have gone for a guacamole con totopos. I don't know, I just like saying that. Um, I've gone for this and the slow roasted pork. And then, aguas frescas, two pineapple. Does this not look fabulous? Look at this glorious, glorious guacamole and totopos. Oh. In these case, do Wait, what did you choose for yours? These. Mm, it looks good. This is the carne asada, which I'm very excited to try. And then this is the pulled pork, the, the slow roasted pork. Yeah, I might actually. Oh, wow. This tiny little corner. I mean, it's not more. It's a start around. Or okay. if you didn't like it. Mmm. That is very nice. Yeah. Ah. Mm. I like the, the sauce. I would, while Nia's pottering around in the background, I thought that I would show you what I bought today that's non-luxury. I did buy a fabulous new Bond number no. 9 fragrance, which um, is now becoming a thing that if I come to New York, I have to buy one. You know, it's a New York brand. They smell delicious, okay? But, you know, I'm going to do a luxury haul at the end of this trip, and I don't want to bore you. I don't want to show you now, and then you're going to be like, Ugh, seen this all in the video, okay? So... There you go, I don't want you getting bored of me. Now, what else did I get? So, I went to Sephora, I went to Airy. I really like Airy. Um, I did get some skivvies, some underwear, which um, neither of us really want to see on the internet, do we? So, let me talk you through what I got from Sephora. Pharmacy, clearly clean. This is a cleansing balm. And I have the limited edition Apple version of this, but I've run out of it, so I've got that. This is very cute. So this is a beauty bento and it is a little, hold on a second, it's from Kaja. Right. It's this little thing, right? And each one 
is like a super, oh, the thing came off, a super velvety, and again, <laughs> eyeshadow. And I just like that it's in three, and there you go. That's your neutral look. And then, you know me, put on a little bit of pop. How's the hair gonna last today? This has got to last dinner. I'm gonna have to do a lot of judging from the back. The Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Happy. Um, I've heard so much about Rare Beauty in general, but especially the blush. So I got this very uh, hot pink whatever, and apparently you just need a tiny, tiny bit of it, and then you go in with your beauty blender, and good luck to you, essentially. You know, just blend to your life's content and hope that you don't look like a clown. So, oh, blends very nicely. There you go, and then you can layer if you want more rosy or whatnot. Oh gosh. Milk Makeup Rise Mascara Lift Length and Volume in the colour Elevate, which I'm really hoping is black because that's what I was after. The texture of this is like, it's like jelly, it's like soft, it's very strange, but I like it, but I'm also worried that it's going to just attract every skerrick of dirt in my makeup bag the brush there she goes she's curly i saw the before and after pictures and they looked good and they weren't shot with inserts so there you go makeup by mario i wanted a black liquid eyeliner why because you can't have enough black liquid eyeliners thank you especially when you do a daily wing i also got a normal black uh eyeliner for the waterline then a new eye makeup brush right i've got a confession here mainly because my main eyeshadow brush it's from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It was a gift that somebody gave me a long time ago and I've been dying to get rid of it and get a new one. But annoyingly, it's a really sudden good brush. Um, so I think that this one is very similar to that one so I can finally get rid. There we go, Sephora collection number 26. Ooh, nice and fluffy. That's what I want. I want a fluffy big head. So tonight we're going for dinner. I'm going to Keen's Steakhouse, which a friend of mine, when I was booking it, she was like, why are you going to go to Keen's? Like, it's like full of old men. And I was like, to be honest with you, that's the vibe I want of a steak restaurant. I want old men. Because to be honest, they love a good steak. I want like mahogany tables. Um, I want it to feel like there should be cigars involved somehow. You know, that's what I'm after. So I think that's, that's what I'm going for tonight. Outfit of the night. Okay, so was my layering of necklaces ever so slightly inspired by rihanna's baby belly bump and a pre pregnancy announcement and all of that yes so we have got gucci balenciaga hacker project choker chanel cruise 2020 choker this drunken taylor vivian westwood jacket i thought let's do a lace bra underneath i feel like viv would approve it's giving me very helena bonham carter okay these are wardrobe nyc with the split the legging from release five something like that valentino tango platforms here we go i think it's cute this lilingi clutch don't ask me what's inside of it because all that this fits is my patience for every time i get those questions thank you very much i'm off for a steak <laughs> This monstrosity is the thick cut bacon. I'm going to show you how thick she is. She's got three C's. Well, well, we're going to be rolling home tonight. <laughs> that is good. Right, cooking <laughs> prawn and so no, and spinach. Yes. Doesn't look like spinach. And then some form of oh yes, oh, it's no, in there. Would, it's yeah, in there. there and then sauteed mushrooms. <laughs> Yes. And like, this gets me that. I don't know why, but it's just the fact that like, and a little, little pepper for you, madam. Thank you very much. And a Bernays, of course. Okay, so I got too excited and um, we pretty much demolished it before me showing you. But this was a Keen's Red Berry Bibble, which was basically red berry compote and then a load of vanilla cream. And let me tell you, 10 out of sod in 10. Beautiful. It tastes like a fancy yogurt, doesn't it? Welcome to Tuesday, the 22nd of February. She's got her crime fighting little bodysuit on and she's feeling good. Okay, so the agenda today is I'm going to go get my hair cut at the Curl Suite. Very excited. Then I'm going to go to Bergdorf's and we're going to have a shopping day full of fabulousness. 
with Alyssa Lenore. So uh, we're going to see what's up. My, my priorities in the US shopping wise are always US brands because European brands are just cheaper at home. Unless there's something very special that's like, oh my gosh, we don't have this in the UK, X, Y, and Z, you know? Now, this section of the video has a sponsor and that sponsor is Simon G Jewelry, hello. Um, I wanted to show you my new earrings because I haven't officially shown you on uh, YouTube yet. And um, they're the final piece of my look. So I thought, let's go through it. So these, look at these, they're like, little curly hoops. I have no idea how else to describe them. Also, don't we love the fact that the box has a light? I'm gonna have them curl in today because you can have them, you know, like curl out or curl in. I just love the fact that they're super light and very comfortable on the ears. We've got the diamonds, all of that, but she's not your usual, right? And you know that's what we enjoy on this channel. We like something a little bit different, a little bit off the beaten path. And my code Cassie10 works on my edit. Thank you so much to Simon G for sponsoring this part of the video. They are an incredible brand to work with. But let's go get my hair done. Let's exciting. I'm gonna walk the whole way there. So I'm so I'm leaving early, trying to get trying to get the old steps in. I did 11,000 steps yesterday. I'm very proud of myself, okay? Because I'm not gonna lie to you. My average, and I'm gonna show you so that you don't think I'm lying. The average is 3,700, but that's because that was that one good day. Look at the rest. Oi. Outfit of the day, day two. This is a very me outfit, okay? Let me tell you why I love a good faux cat suit. So we have got this bodysuit from, don't embarrass me, don't embarrass me. <laughs> okay we've got this bodysuit from commando it's like a neoprene it's a zip up it's got these that makes me feel like angelina jolie and mr and mrs smith the leggings are walford the scuba legging best leggings in the game don't even they just look great renee oh renee calvilla cleo boot with a little little glittery snake this emilio pucci little puffer gilet she also has a hood in case I really want to drive it home. And then we're doing the Chanel 19 again today. Why? Because it's possibly going to rain. So we need something that I'm not going to be too precious. Like we don't want a fabric bag, basically. Ignore the hair, I'm going to go get my hair done. Bye. I'm currently walking down Fifth Avenue, seeing the sights, absorbing the sounds. Coming up on the right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the beautiful, stunning New York Public Library give it up for this beautiful stunner of a piece of architecture with the lions who do apparently have names but i forgot what they are isn't it like freedom and justice or something it's not freedom and justice it's patience and fortitude so close but not quite close enough <laughs> i am at the curl suite with Hi. belinda who i have been i booked in with you two years ago really and finally we're here <laughs> Damn COVID, <laughs> damn pandemic. Exactly, exactly. But we made it and now we're doing the styling bit. We've yes. chopped off all of the dead bits, which we there were quite a lot. Some of them, if you look on the floor, it's not a lot. Okay, I don't know if you see. that's not a yeah, scary. It's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. Not bad. Okay, now we're gonna style. <laughs> okay. So you see how I first started off our relieve and spray. We make okay. our own products here. Mm -hmm. Spray this all over. And then okay. in sections, you wanna work everything by parting your hair. Okay. Do you do that? No. I literally tip my head over the over the bath and I'm like you do everything flipping forward yeah okay you never want to do that okay you always want to start by working in sections okay okay so I start mm -hmm. by grabbing the first half of your head mm -hmm. now I'm going to work in our curl foam that we have okay it's one of was like our top seller uh -huh. and you want to work everything in sections okay okay mm -hmm. do you at least comb through your product yes you comb through yeah okay do you scrunch your product in yes that's one thing you should never do. Oh. Because that's going to make your hair a lot frizzier. You scrunch okay. back in. Okay. Okay. But this is what everybody tells you to do. This I is know. why I'm here. I know. <laughs> yes, I know. You listen to all these people online. Yeah. They tell you. But you don't even remember, like, what, what works for them isn't going to work for you. That's true. And what works for you isn't going to work for them. Yeah. And you see how I'm using my fingers to rake it in? Okay, yeah. After I comb it through. And now you're just going to grab a towel mm -hmm. and fully scrunch your way through. Okay. Never scrunch product with your hands. Uh -huh. That's okay. going to make it frizzier. here. Okay. The scrunching comes with a towel in the end after you work through your whole head. Okay. Oh my gosh. I've never seen it like this. Like literally ever. Really? I'm not joking. I've never seen my hair like this. This is insane. 
This is my pretty woman moment. <laughs> Can I buy everything that we used today? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're both vlogging each other. Hello. I feel like there should be a, a, a look who's on my side of the box. <laughs> I feel like there should have been a slow oh, motion really, line. Should we just film it? Da -da, da -da, da -da. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Mm, I think you should treat yourself. I know you were thinking about it and you were like, oh, I don't know, do it. Do it. Who's gonna stop you, hmm? Me? No. You? No. A man? No. So go get it. <laughs> okay, so we have the scallops, which these two have told me a lot about. So they better change my life. <laughs> and then these fabulous dumplings. I can't remember what was in them. Was it chicken? Chicken, okay. lemongrass. You have a good memory. And then this is like a uh, yuzu soy, gingery, ginger yes. moment. Beautiful. Lobster mac and cheese, overflowing with the cheese, that's always a good sign. What did you go for? Black cod mm -hmm. and risotto. It looks amazing. And seafood gnocchi. Mm, fabulous. Hello friends, bit of a weird one today, so bear with me. Alright, nobody told me it was going to be 18, 20 degrees on one day that I was here and I did not pack appropriately. Luckily, yesterday, I bought this little park ranger cropped shirt that makes me look like I keep animals. And honestly, I'm not mad about it, okay? Then we have my Gucci straight leg jeans with the Dior B27, 27s. I know I'm competing logos here. I'm breaking the rules, especially with... <gasps> I wanted a pop of colour, okay? Louis Vuitton Keep All Excess. I... Look... I think it's working, okay? This is a struggle outfit, give me something. Also, I'm a bit worried that it's gonna get like a little bit chilly at some point, in which case I am doing this. That makes me look like I go to a country club. And let's just top it off with these. Also my earrings are Chanel hoops and these are from Fenty. Oh my gosh, look at the sodding size of those. So this is margarita and pepperoni. And they did not skimp on the pepperoni, which is always good news. Right, I've had an absolute ride day, let me tell you. So this morning I did like a load of editing and all of that. And I have not had a pizza yet, which is ordering on blasphemous in New York. Don't even talk to me about my top lip, okay? It's, I'm having an absolute nightmare. I had to go to CVS, right. I know it's probably bad that I'm even using cutlery to eat a New York slice. However, I'll stop. Look at that. Look at the sodded cheese. <gasps> However, I don't want to get messy, okay? <laughs> Delicious, as expected. Alright, so that was that one. Let's try the pepperoni. I am a purist when it comes to pizzas. Pepperoni is as exciting as it gets for me. Mm. I deserve this. I really do. Good morning. It is day four. Um, I didn't really do much videoing yesterday because I was having a down day. Okay, to be very honest with you. Um, and not all the days are fabulous, you know? So I was just like, you know what? Let me just switch off. I did walk 18,000 steps though. So there we go. That is quite a feat. Okay, so next day is absolutely something freezing. It is minus one. And I know that while we're here, it's gonna get to minus six. So what a pleasure that will be. I don't know what, let's go into Aritzia. I always hear such amazing things about Aritzia and we don't have it in the UK, so here is my chance. So from what I gather, it's very good for basics. Oh, it's a bodysuit, you know me. You know me, oh, I'm gonna get, oh, hello. That's really nice. 
Very nice, that. I think I'm going to get that grey. These are really cute. I mean, the colours are fantastic, but the knit is really nice and thick, so it hugged the body well. Not only did I have a lovely time in there, chatting to the ladies, friendliest women in there. We're talking about London, we're talking about everything. Um, I picked up a lot of mainly basics, also a lot of socks. this that they've done on the side of the building with Virgil Oh my gosh, how amazing does this look? The prawns are huge. We've got a lovely selection of grilled vegetables and the rice. Did I ask for extra bread? Yes. Am I in any way ashamed? No, and neither should you be. If you want extra bread, you ask for it. Okay. Hi, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. However, thought I would do a quick haul of what I bought today. Um, okay, so let's start off with, got a lot of boring things from Aritzia, such as, Tiny foot socks, more tiny foot socks in two colours. I don't know why I bought that one. I actually thought it was grey, but it's happened now, isn't it? I can't be bothered to return it. I'll use it, you know? This three pack of crew socks. I really like this like knit. It's very thick and nice. I'll tell you how much everything was. So this was, well, it fell off. It fell off. I think it was... 38. I don't know if I've just plucked that number out of the air, but I think it was. Then I got this. It's just a simple white t-shirt, but I really like the feel of it. Here we go. Of course, had to buy a bodysuit. Now what I like about this is that it's double lined in the body. So it's going to really, and you know, I like a thong butt. I like a thong butt because you don't have any, uh, any panty lines. And then what's, oh, and then I got a long sleeve long sleeve white and then I got these which are just little sports shorts however like they're like a yeah so these were 58 as well and I think this with like literally a bodysuit in the summer a nice pair of sandals and a fun bag you know like oh my gosh you could do that ivy yes a packet of crisps just fell down and a bodysuit, maybe a little bit of little bit of gold jewellery. She's comfy and she's killing it. Thank you so much. I've got a thing for American Eagle, specifically airy. Yes, I've got it at your neck. Okay. Um, so I did buy some more skivvies. You don't need to see them. However, they were doing 30 to 30% 30 to 60% on everything. I got this. This is a little sports top. It's got elastic under here. Um, I also got this. This was 50% um, off, so this was $60 and it was 30 in a size medium. It's just a nice, massive, oversized, comfy sweater. Look, I work from home. Do you really think I'm in this all the time? I'm not. I'm in old, old sweats that I've had since I was 16. Speaking of, stop. If you are in the US, run, do not walk, and get the offline joggers. These were $60, and again, why do I, I think, I think these were, these were maybe 30% off. These are the softest joggers I've ever touched. Soft both on the inside and on the outside. These are amazing. To be honest, before I leave, I might go back and get a pair of the black ones, but they didn't have any in a small. This is a size small, and again, roomy that, fantastic. Ooh, I want to sleep in them now. They should do a sleep range, it's just, it feels like modal. If you know what modal feels like, mm. 
could roll around in that. Right, so I'm going to now edit a thumbnail. And he's got a meeting or something. And yeah, I will check back in with you tomorrow. What was that? I don't know. Thank you.